Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where we're back on the Citadel. Was this, the main thing that we need to do right now is to go to the Quarian fleet. That's the main plot. The side plot, however, is we need to meet up with Liara on the Citadel, possibly for a date. But also with Miranda, she is somewhere in the apartments. Probably this one. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? Yeah, you could have just sent no. that as an email. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I was going to say, she did. did mention that in Mass Effect There's 2. More to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. So in that, she uh, feared that she had become his, her father. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Also, Miranda, if you're hiding out from somebody, maybe wear something besides your iconic look. Because people will say, hey, look, that, that woman is Miranda Lawson. Nobody dresses up like her. Nobody is wearing the same thing as her. Wear what this Asari is wearing. People will think you're a tourist. Where what Where anything else? But the thing that everybody has already seen you wear for an entire game. They'll 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 You'll, you'll just stand out. All right, Liara. Let's see how you are doing. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. Never mind, you have nothing to do. Okay. Um cutting to the next thing. Ah, Samara is somewhere around here. There she is. Hello, how are you? I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. 
I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. That does seem bleak. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. Also, I don't think they're, like... Uh... Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. I doubt the expectation of a Justicar is to live to old age. If you live by the gun, you die by the gun. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. Your thoughts? Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. Otherwise, her code... Would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. I feel like if you don't necessarily believe in the thing... Like, you can still interpret the intent of the message. Even if you don't necessarily understand... Hmm. I'm, I'm just wondering how far that sentiment can go. Like, I, I, was, I was going to follow that up by being like, if you don't necessarily understand, like, what does... Uh, What does the goddess go with you mean, or if you necessarily believe in the Asari goddess? Like, you still uh, uh, register the intent, but then again, you could always say, like... So so the next thought I was going to have is, like, what if somebody said something like, um, may Satan bless your efforts in the war, or something like that. Um, but you can say that, okay... But I'm I'm sure that your intentions still meant well. You still want everybody to be okay. Even if you don't necessarily believe in the thing that they do. But I suppose at that point it's kind of like are what are you swearing by? Are you swearing by something good? Or something wholly evil? And, okay, so there is, a, there is a combination of intention plus material. Jacob is somewhere in this room. Like, it's a combination of intent and the trustworthiness of the source. And in this case, Samara has both. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. 
progress on the crucible what's going on with the crucible that project is crazy freaking huge and all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out i wish you could see them heads down piecing it together it's something to see we'll get this crucible built shepherd and then we'll win this thing i feel it do you feel it yeah i feel it sure. i feel it i feel it <clears throat> and i'm counting on you and everyone there Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, my first name? That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. Shepard is an interesting <laughs> first name. Good. Maybe the middle name. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Isn't uh, Hackett voiced by Lance Henriksen? I want to say that is the case. And if so, there's very few choices otherwise. That would be half as good. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Hmm. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck. And I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know. But I can't think of anything else. Can you? I was gonna say, why does it want me to go back to the console again? All right, well. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own general. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station, a poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Excellent. Good job, us. And apparently there is a thing that I was supposed to do with some... ...consoles... ...for Knowles. Like, a lot of these side missions, th this game's got a few of them. I already went to you, console. I can't- I don't- I have nothing to do with you again. It feels as though the side missions in this game uh, don't necessarily have very detailed direction. Oh my gosh. These are all of the missions I have. Why do I have so many missions? I don't even know what half of these things are. Alright, cutting to the next thing. Alright, so apparently there's another console here. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. 
So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Alright, let's see. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to jump through a couple of locations, see where that last console is. Probably not here or the Memorial Hospital. Alright, so here is the last console. Back in the docking bay. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people, but what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. Well, they would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I am uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best is true. for this galaxy. If you care about your people... If she didn't destroy the mass relay, that entire system would have been destroyed by the incoming Reapers. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Come on. What about the 117 human passengers in the ship that... De that... I guess... That, yeah, that, see, that feels like more of a renegade decision that is automatically made for you. Like, if there's a paragon or a renegade decision for that, whether it's uh, arrest him or let him go, like, I would almost say, like, and, and the way that the game phrased it, I would say that, like, Renegade would be letting him, and that kind of shows you like the gray area in any kind of good and evil system. Like, if good is to spare him, and if evil is to take him down, if you're you're either the protector or the antagonist in a Paragon or Renegade situation, and if being the Renegade is taking him down, but in doing so you are saying vengeance for the people who die. But protecting him is letting him live, despite the fact that he's killed so many people. What is necessarily good? What is necessarily bad? Does Paragon always mean protecting? Does Renegade always mean uh, defeating? Ultimately, there has to be somebody who casts his judgment upon morality before the action is done. Somebody who creates the morality system determines what is moral and what is immoral. Regardless of such, let us carry on to the Outer Rim and go meet up with the Quarians and progress with the story of this game. Hopefully not getting Talia killed in the process. If Legion has to die, so be it. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? 17 days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. 
which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth again? Now? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Gerald. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Is it Talia? Oh my gosh, it is her. Who would have expected this? Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals. Talia? I keep calling her Talia. Tally. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your but I had side missions to do. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. All right. I guess let's go talk to Tali, who is... How is being pri somewhere private? Commander. Like, she says we want to talk somewhere private, and that space is in the same room as uh, her admiral. Like, the admiral's right over there. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Um, okay. I was I was wondering that none of those uh, options seemed Oh, you're out of a uh, unique dialogue. None of those object uh, uh choices seemed very specific. They all seemed very general. Um, let us call Tally up to... Actually, let's change our outfit. I'm, I've gotten kind of tired of looking at the Cerberus Ajax armor. Let's go back to that. Oof. That's the worst. That looks like I'm starring in the remake of Rollerball or something like that. Do we want health boost or shield regeneration? Or weapon damage? Maybe weapon damage.
Just a whole bunch of weapon damage. See how that goes. And then let's change the color to... How about some greens? A little bit of a, a Master Chief vibe. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and... and Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what um, she's doing. Good old imposter syndrome. The daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. No, but first look at my fish. Look at, look, oh, look at them. All right, let's go back to the CIC. I wonder if that that exists, like um, if somebody made a movie or something where characters are constantly like having meetings in one specific place because the writer or the producer or the director just really liked having all of their locations in front of that thing. Where, but it, but it's like so specific, like like let's meet up at the aquarium. And like everybody's constantly meeting at that same aquarium just so you could have images of the fish in the background. All right, let's take down this dreadnought. Ah, our cast has expanded. Let's go with. Oh, I don't have any choice about Tali. Tali has to go no matter what. Let's go with the original Mass Effect 1 crew that I tended to go with, is Tali and Liara. Yeah, let's go with more damage. I don't even know why I wasn't using more damage. What is the new pistol? Oh. Okay, so that has 179, but if I change it from weapon weight to rounds per magazine, 124. Tali has shotguns and heavy pistols.
Let's see. With more damage. But we want to swap that out for the scorpion. For more damage and... Yeah, sure, why not? And then Liara is already set. Liara cannot upgrade anything. Tali has so many choices. Oh my gosh. Look at look look at look at my Master Chief armor. What have you got from the comboys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. That is a lot of ships. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Will the American national anthem cause the same amount of ruckus? That is a pretty awesome view. My cyber warfare suite has accessed the dolphin protocols. Also, What's the risk of just being shot on accident? There are a lot of... There's a lot of fire, there's a lot of everything going on. Alright, once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Though it's interesting that the Reapers haven't taken over for the Geth, Geth entirely. Like, the Reapers are just like... Let's just let the Geth do their own thing. Shadow broker. Ready to infiltrate the dreadnought? Indeed. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Nobody will notice me in my super bright armor. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. I was wondering if there was going to be, like, a jump. But then I remembered this isn't that kind of game. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance dreadnought. I don't know. The planet seems to be on fire. Though I always appreciate when space scenes in um, in video games have more accurate sound representation. In that, like, it's not noisy. Except for your your boots. Your boots are especially noisy. Which kind of makes you wonder exactly how noisy they would be if we weren't walking in a the vacuum of space. The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Geth don't have windows. Windows, remember? Structural weakness. When the Geth are just sitting there saying those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. Tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. 
Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. All right. Armor piercing. Armor piercing. Yeah, they've definitely made a mess of things on this side. Though, like... Why would the Geth need doors? Ah, the controls are way up there. Like that, that's the thing, like there is some attempt to make it seem as though like the ship is constructed differently because of the different group that it's for. Like robots would not necessarily consider the need for windows. That was fast. But would robots still need ladders? Are you all right, Shepard? Were you worried about me? Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. Though I suppose there's no bathroom, there's no there. mess okay. hall. We're clear to go. Yeah, that would be uh, would probably be the main focus of any machine race is how do you dissipate heat? Like there's still energy consumption, even if there is no mess hall. Why hello? Very rude of you, firing rockets at me. And then I think that's also one of the the larger criticisms is that there could have been a little bit more emphasis on the alien aspect of the alien races. Everybody's generally humanoid. With the exception of, say, maybe like the Hanar, but the Hanar are just kind of background, like a background species. Is that going to be true? Like, in practical sense? And I think that's something that doesn't necessarily happen in the game, because, like, 
the Geth are a network AI, so they're smarter the more of them there are in a group. So in theory, if there are fewer of them in a group, obviously I, I don't care about the trip mines. Uh, if there are fewer of them in the group, then they shouldn't necessarily be dumber. So in theory, if there are more of them in a group, they take more, they use more strategies. And the fewer of them, the fewer strategies they would have available to them. Though, I, again, I don't think this is represented in-game as, like, a more practical sense. But then, I think, like, the way that Mass Effect presents itself as more of this linear shooter, you wouldn't necessarily be able to experience any changes in tactics more notably. Ooh, Geth Pulse Rifle. Let's change our loadout. Let's add in... Let's swap in the Matuk. Or swap out the Matuk. And swap in the new gun. The arc pistol. That actually reduces the power recharge speed. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it out. And actually, let's swap out the grenades for Shockwave, because I believe I've fully upgraded Shockwave. The Threadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Is there fighting already going on? Yes, that's us. Already. I don't know. Don't think I'm that interested in that specific pistol. That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of that pistol for my invent my equip uh screen. Let's see. Salvage some data. Damn it, they've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. All right. The Reaper signal coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. The heat duct? What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got the prime. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gas on the other side of the doors. Okay. Oh, not these doors. Other doors. They're dropping down from the ceiling. There could be cloak hunters as well. I am not worried about your cloaked hunters. Them and their sick dodge moves. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. Wise decision. 
not organics. All right. Different species have different aesthetic tastes, but I agree. This design is alien. It's and you could say that actually is consistent with AI algorithm work, uh, like AI that we see these days. I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. The entire idea that, like, when the AI geth make their own new ship, it's going to still be designed based on source material. And their source material is going to be largely the Quarians. But that direction is going to be retrofitted in order to fulfill their needs. But aesthetically... Like, can an AI create something entirely new on its own? Or is it always going to be a derivative of what came before? Like, there's a big difference between being able to create something that is functionally different based on the needs of a system versus aesthetically different based on its understanding of the world around it. Oh, is it going to be firing during this process? I'm sure that's going to be problematic to some degree. Ah, I see what it means. Yeah. I'm getting hit by the shockwave of the cannon blasts. Ah. Who's... I didn't even notice that guy came from behind. And then there was the cannon blast. That is a messy hallway to be fighting in. And I kind of wish I did not swap in that pistol. Where? Okay. Where was I heading? Alright. Only because it is... It is slowing down my biotics a little bit. A noticeable amount. Now, do they have to watch the shockwaves? It's unclear. Okay, this is not a good place to take cover behind. Because I cannot see anything. Anybody else? All right. Okay, whoever threw up that gravity well, I cannot see anything past it. Oh. Is this path a little bit safer? A little bit. Anybody behind us? Yes.
Okay, let's wait for the next wave to pass. Good. They've stopped firing. For now. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Yep, that was cutting it close. There we go. And now I can kind of sneak around here. A lot of rocket troopers. Oh, hello. Hello. Regular trooper? I am not impressed. Uh, okay, that took a little while for... Oh my gosh. Tali. Either climb down the ladder or move. Liara! Jeez. I thought I kind of hit cover for there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it looks like the Geth Troopers don't really have to worry about the, uh, the cannon fire, which I don't know if that makes sense, because they are robots, so they would have different shielding. I guess I didn't have to worry about it then either. Sometimes I have to worry about it, sometimes I don't. Okay, what am I looking for? There's the core. Now, can we shut down the Reaper signal from here? Or does this just take us to the core and then we have to fight a boss fight? And then we can... Multiple close calls. Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. Now the ladders begin. And then the stairs. And then the elevator that moves on an angle. Because you can't... Hit, uh, like, that's what this game is missing, is one of those standard beat-em-up elevators that move on an angle. Let's 
definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Is that Legion in the center? Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. They only joined the league. Got it! Ah. Tully's order to fleet. The signal is about to... That's the off. tricky part in regards to having you... Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Do dial having dialogue in between objectives is you need that uh, path that time between objectives to be long enough for you to hear the whole dialogue, like Grand Theft Auto uh, Red Dead Redemption often give you really long car and horse rides so you can hear the whole conversation. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. We probably will need to get out of here then. Alert! Get reinforcements incoming. Yeah, I should really swap back in the Matok. That way I've got at least something longer range. And this gun is probably okay. But the fact that it requires me to charge up attacks... ...definitely makes it less than ideal. All right, that gets rid of the Geth Prime. In theory, there's still a turret out there. Also, you have an admiral still on the ship. We can't waste this chance. Heavy fleet on forward. Take out the dreadnought. Push all set. Hold position. You do that. The heavy fleet gets wiped out. And if we die, simple retreat won't save you from the death response. Damn you! Damn it! What are they doing? Focus on the death. We'll worry about the admirals later. 
And then get rid of another prompt. Finally, actually used power. Instead of getting constantly interrupted by said Geth Prime's attacks. Ah, that's the turret. Okay, now what? I like your plan. Ah. I keep falling down in this uh, mission. I'm aware. Just a casual, a, just a casual catch. We'll live, yeah, and not be blown up in the ship we're leaving from. Like, I. Like, I understand their their insistence on destroying the, the Dreadnought. Because now it can no longer be used militarily. It cannot be recovered as an asset. They fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangers us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. They didn't die, so... The mission parameters changed. You're military. You understand that. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the Heavy Fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Like, it would be nice if we had an ex escape plan. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Halt. Admiral Corish sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. 
Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? <laughs> wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about the incident? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. My pistol is not sentient. My pistol does not make decisions for itself. The scientific benefits are off the table. Unless Legion volunteers himself. How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades. Correct. They are currently disorganized. But once the short range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila. I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. That's that's very nice. All right, I think I'm going to stop here for the night, regardless of if I have mail or not. Um, Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.